In our bank account, we're running a little low. All I'm asking for is just like 200 grand in trade-ins. Just get rid of so we have an extra 200 grand. Lake and Alec are pumped up on it. 100% faith in them. Let's get rid of this inventory. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Amazing kickoff to the week. We had a badass customer in, the nicest guy ever. Flew in all the way from Mexico. He wanted a brand new 5167A Aquanaut. Hey, how are you? Nice, nice to meet you. You're in the car industry, Alec was saying? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah that's, that's awesome. We're, we're huge car guys. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do something with cars and watches and everything. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. We did an episode like a month ago at Bremen downtown, which is like Rolls Royce, BMW, oh, that's et cool. cetera. Oh. And like we're comparing like different watches with Rolls Royces, et cetera. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally, we couldn't really get there on the price. He tried to trade in his AP, still couldn't get there. Eventually found a deal on a 2021 new one that was exactly within his budget. If you guys stick to it and you stay in contact with us, eventually we'll figure out something that'll work. It fits, but if my wrist gets a bit swollen. Yeah, we have another fresh strap coming tomorrow. Perfect. I also brought the AP. You wanna see it? Yep. So you're gonna have the Daytona tomorrow, right? You guys got the wire? Or uh, we should get it, but like, oh, okay. he's, he's trading in. Cool. I love this watch. It's so comfortable too. It is. Yeah. And it's perfect for every situation. Every situation. Three o'clock to be safe. Three o'clock yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna have to pay for my plane tickets every time I come to get a watch. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> Just let me know. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Cool, man. Awesome. I love yeah. your logo. I love your logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah, we made those over in Europe. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we're all set for tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just WhatsApp yeah. you exact time to come. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We're awesome. awesome. Take care of you guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah, congrats, congrats, congrats. Congrats. Thank congrats. you so yeah. much. We're absolutely pumped to get this to them and start off their week right. And if you keep coming this way and buying watches from us, we'll take care of the plane tickets. No worries. <laughs> Stressful day ahead. So I was up all night doing a deal, getting a watch overseas, and then also working with the Swiss team on a few sold orders. But I did realize in our bank account, we're running a little low. And the reason is, is we've been selling watches, which is great, but we've been getting so many trade-ins. So today I'm gonna give a task to both Lake and Alec to sell as many of the trade-ins as we can as possible. Good morning. The inventory is just stacking up. We've been taking way too many trade-ins. We have have like no money in the account. We really, really have to get rid of some of our inventory. Everyone wants to upgrade their watch. And if you don't keep a close eye on your bank account, your wire power will go like this and your inventory will go like this. So I'm getting the team ready to sell as much inventory as possible because we have very little wire power and way too much inventory. I'm giving you and Lake job to get this case. And then we also have the other two cases over there. We're getting a day date. We're getting dog Cartier. We're getting <laughs> the French guys. They're trading in anything or they're just doing a straight up buy of the, the rose. No, well then the day date, but then Lake also has a customer that's gonna be trading in a day date and a sky dweller as well. So I know that those things are super annoying to sell for all of us, but we just have to get rid of them and get cash back. Look, trade-ins are a part of the business and they're an absolute pain to get rid of. Double the work, you're making the sale and then you have to make the sale again to get rid of the trade-in. But we have to do it and we have to do it in a timely manner to keep upping our inventory or buying and sourcing pieces. Just post everywhere in the entire world, you know, wholesale, chrono, etc. We just have to get rid of some stuff. So I'll split it up with Lake. Uh, he just left to go get the 5712 and the 5711 green checked. He's gonna be back soon. Split up with him. And then we have a client that came in yesterday. He just got his strap in. I picked it up from FedEx. So I have to go get that size. We have those other clients coming in, picking up the Sky Dweller. My um, goal is for tomorrow, all I'm asking for is just like 200 grand trade-ins. Just get rid of so we have an extra 200 grand. Cause that would be a huge relief, at least 200 grand. So I got the whole team on board for our inventory situation. Situation. Lake and Alec are pumped up on it. 100% faith in them and they're gonna do a great job, but let's get rid of this inventory. Another week, another upgrade for Andres. This guy first came in and he started off with Datejust. Now he's all the way up to AP Concepts. When you put a tourbillon on a watch, it's like throwing a V12 engine in there. The premium is just like crazy. Because not only is the tourbillon like aesthetically sick, it also has functionality to be more precise on time. It's not just like for looks, even though for looks it's pretty badass. This time Andres was in for a Royal Oak Concept, which is an extremely rare watch. It goes way under retail. Retail on one of these things is 200,000. 
He just loved how it was a tourbillon. He wanted a tourbillon in his collection. He's worked his way up from Rolex to an AP tourbillon, so congrats, Andres. See how it looks on your wrist. No, let's see. It's your, it's your watch, bro. You could open it more, right? You need a larger like strap. No, no, no. But I'm saying, can I make it a little bit more loose or no? We'll find you an extra strap. No, it gets bigger. You have three holes, right? Yeah, no, it's too big. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You need one more. I like the blue, though. The blue's sick as f. Yeah, <laughs> blue pops. <laughs> All right, how do you set it? Is Here that... we go. Now the class. Yeah, I'm sure it, <laughs> it doesn't work like any of the other watches. No, it's it's already set. No, no, but I'm saying, how do you? Oh, oh yeah. if, if you don't so, wear it for a little bit, just yeah. like reset it. So H, when it, when you pull the crown out and it goes to H, that means hour. You can change that like this, right? Yeah. And then here's like your date with this button. So you can have time here, and then you can set like a different time here as well, and it'll sync. So if you have two different time zones. On the right side. Yeah, on the right side, which is pretty. Badass. Right, it's a beautiful watch. Well, look what the wind blew in. What do you guys think this is? No, this is not a 5711 1A blue or white dial. This is the green dial that was only made in 2021. We got a sold order for this for a very special customer. We can't wait to give it to them. They're gonna be absolutely thrilled. So this is just one of the grills that we're unboxing today. How much is that watch? So they really only made in 2021. So this leaked over into 2022, making it worth a lot more because there's not many 2022s out there. So it's extremely extremely rare to have one unworn like this is it's even more rare so we're looking around 340,000 for this watch and the retail on that one the retail is probably is a whopping 35 grand <laughs> <laughs> it's rare to even see a 5711 green, but to see it sealed, as soon as I opened the package, I was in disbelief. Where the f did we get this watch? Got a little bit more weight here. This is a 5741G with the blue dial. Get a lot of these. I think it's one of Garrett's favorite watches. Yeah, when I stare at the blue dial, I'm just like, you know, the Kramer. <laughs> it's unbelievable, this blue dial. I mean, there's nothing else like it. A lot of the other 5711s, the blue dial is a little bit more blackish. This has like a brighter blue, and in the sun, it really hits. Look, we've talked and worked with several watchmakers around the world and they'll always say the best quality and some of the best horology and watchmaking is with Patek. Not only that, but for me, their marketing of their brand is just so emotional and powerful. The aesthetics on their watch is just amazingly clean. The look is just absolute class. You can never go wrong with a Patek. And also in resale, you can never go wrong. It's honestly one of the strongest brands. So you know, the here honors. we got one of my favorite watches. This is an example of that Ooh. blacker blue dial, but yeah. I mean, I love the way this blue looks. It's a little bit more subtle, but sometimes subtle is nice. This is the new 5990 with the blue. The complication of this watch is incredible. It's a world time. What's your opinion on on this watch. I mean, we've sold a couple yeah, of them. Yeah, we've sold a couple of them. I really like it in the sense that the case is a little bit thicker. Not only that. Links are a little thicker. Exactly. So if you've tried on a 5711 and it's kind of like too thin for you, a little flimsy, this is the way to go. This is like the bad boy. of Big boss, like undercover we've watch. We've definitely sold a lot more, I think, of the 5990 Rose. Oh. That's super, super popular, especially with that blue dial, which is incredibly bright. This blue is a little bit more toned down, but to be honest, just the dial symmetry is makes it one of my favorite paddocks. I wish I had a bit bigger of a wrist. This is in mystery box number three, 5167R. I've been selling these like hotcakes. We got two out the doors of 5760, 5167A, and then we had a guy come in to kind of compare and contrast, see if it was a good fit on his wrist. He loved it. Now he's coming back today to come pick it up. Great everyday wear. Obviously it's an Aquanaut, so you can go swimming with it. It looks good in at any occasion. You know, if you're wearing with a suit, just wearing around in a t-shirt, just great all around watch. And now a bit of a smaller version of that same watch. You got the ladies 5267. Oh. This obviously has the factory diamonds around the bezel. It normally comes in a black strap. This is actually fitted on a white strap. Makes the watch actually pop a bit more and accents some of the little dial coloration right there. So you got the white on a lot of the hands and I think it looks incredible on this strap. One thing, I mean, this is mostly ladies will be wearing this watch, but one thing that really stands out, it's just a quartz movement. So when you set the time, it'll always be on time. I know my wife especially, she hates automatic movements. Uh, when she goes to put it on the wrist, she always has to reset the time. So that's a good plus. I know a lot of you ladies like quartz movements because of that. Amazing value, just under 50K. Factory Patek Diamonds. Yeah, factory Patek Diamonds, sport model, under 50K, go grab it. So if you guys like Pateks just as much as we do, let us know in the comments below. We've really come a long way. I remember a year ago today, we would get one Patek and just be absolutely dumbfounded by the watch. But now we're getting five to six a day. Things are growing absolutely 
absolutely exponentially thanks to you guys. I cannot wait to see where we're gonna be a year from now. Thanks for staying tuned to the end. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. As soon as we hit 10K subs, we're gonna be giving away a free Rolex Submariner. So we'll see you in the next one.